Alright, hello class and welcome to this video. This is a video dedicated to the midterm exam. Uh, what is on the exam? How long is the exam? And what can you do to best prepare for the midterm exam? So, before I get started, let me quickly explain why uh, I've established the exam and created it in the way that I have. Because this is an online exam, um, because you are online students, that I have no safeguards, I have no protections, I have no way of ensuring that all students are approaching this exam from the same mindset, uh, applying the same principles, and using the same moral compass or moral guide, a, ter a determination between what is right and wrong. Frankly, because I will not be sitting over your shoulder, and because you will not be sitting in the classroom where I can walk around and ensure that all students um, are not cheating, uh, I had to cr use creative ways of creating this exam. So, uh, what I've tried to do is find ways of ensuring that all students um, will be on a level playing field. Um, so, given that, uh, let me explain how this exam is, 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 uh, is organized. The exam is made up of 30 questions. It's a mixture of multiple choice slash kind of matching questions. Uh, and, and in addition, there are numerous um, short answer responses, short answer slash essay responses. Uh, I've established this exam as a timed exam. You will have 60 minutes from the moment you begin until uh, you'll be forced to be complete. I thought that this was plenty of time um, to encourage you, A, to be fully prepared, um, that it's not too much time, that those who are slow test takers um, will feel rushed, but I, I believe it's an adequate amount of time uh, to answer the questions that I've laid out in front of you. So yes, you will need to prepare. Uh, you will need to study before sitting down for this exam. Um, so you will have 60 minutes. Um, after that time, um, the exam is closed and you will no longer be able to continue. Also, you will have just one sitting, one attempt, so when you enter the, the exam and begin looking at questions, that begins your test-taking experience. You cannot exit out and then come back into it. Uh, if you for some reason do, uh, I'm sorry, uh, but there is nothing that I can do to help you in that case. So be sure that when you sit for this exam, that you do so at a time where you can be ensured that you'll have a strong internet connection. Uh, do so at a time where you will not be at the risk of losing power. Um, and if necessary, go to a place where you can ensure those things. Um, the exam will be due by Sunday, May 14th, by 11.59 p.m. If you decide to take this exam late, um, for uh, every hour late that it's submitted, it will automatically be deducted 10% from the grade. So if you start the exam at 11.59, uh, just simply by turning in late, you'll automatically lose 10% of the grade. Um, all right, so that's a little bit about the content and the policies uh, around the exam. Roughly 30 questions, multiple choice, and short answer slash, slash essays. Uh, it will cover uh, all the topics or all the chapters that we've looked at thus far. Chapters 1, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So everything from understanding religion uh, through this week's Taoism and Confucian Confucianism. Uh, how can you best prepare for this exam? Well, um, I think the best way to do it is by being familiar with the, the textbook. Um, whether that means sitting down and rereading through some of the selections, which would probably be a good strategy. Uh, or sitting back down with the Learn Smart and or the end of chapter question reviews. Uh, that would be a wonderful place to quiz you to see what you are familiar with and what you are not. Um, I would encourage you to sit down with each of those chapters or maybe each of the Learn Smarts from each, uh, each chapter just to refresh the information and make sure that you are, uh, that you know what, what um, that you remember what you've studied thus far. Um, all right, uh, and so that's that's it for this video. That should give you a, a, uh, an understanding of what's on the exam and how to approach it. If you have any questions about it, please uh, don't hesitate to ask. Um, 
All right, good luck this week. Bye.